Hey everybody and welcome to This Brand Life 2. I played this first game years ago on an old channel of mine and I loved it. Uh, but I didn't know how to play despite that. So we're going to run through This Grand Life 2 which is out now in early access from Pokemon Water Game for $16.99 USD. They were nice enough to send over a copy of the game for me to check out so thanks to them for that. And with that, let us begin. So we're going to start a new game here. And there you are. Welcome to the tutorial. Click the next button below to start or the end button above to end this part of the tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing, so we're going to run through it. Incredible clicking. Well done. The window in the bottom right corner shows a list of your incomplete tutorial segment. You can hover over each item in the list to see a hint for starting the tutorial. Click next to continue. Your life is divided into months with 728 hours in each month. In the top bar, the currently highlighted value is your remaining time this month. Click next to continue. This is your cash account. All personal and business expenses, income, will flow through it. Hover over it to see recent transactions. Click next to continue. I'm not going to read that every time. Uh, this is your character panel. It shows job earnings, transport methods, inventory, queued actions, and needs. Hovering over different icons will give you more information. Below the character panel are your character's shortcuts. You can use them to quickly view different sites like your home, workplace, or school. Character portrait buttons located at the bottom of the screen display all of your currently playable characters. The next checkbox next to each character allows you to toggle auto mode on or off for that specific character. First, let's set up some auto actions at home. Click the home shortcut to view high uh, highlighted household actions. Clicking the next the large X next to each activity will change its priority. One to highest, four for lowest. When your characters are idle, they will decide what to do based on those priorities. The tutorial will continue once you hover over and set priorities for sleep on floor, stare at wall, and order pizza. That sounds like a boring life, doesn't it? You can also click the green action icon to manually add it to the action queue. Try it now to see the icon and slide into the action queue. If you accidentally add an action, you can always right click it from the action queue to remove it. Hovering over the little icons for each activity will give characters extra uh, will give extra details such as the character's preference towards it, price, required items, etc. Note sleep on bed option is grayed out. Because you don't have a bed. That's basically what that means. Let's fix that and buy a bed from the furniture store. $500 for a bed. That sounds about right. Side note, you can filter items by doing that. Let's run the game now so your character can perform their cute actions. Minus $500 for a bed. Side note, your assets and liabilities list can be seen using the button indicated below. Our household, household asset is a single bed. Nothing more, nothing less. Simple life right there. This is your household assets display. Some home activities require assets with a certain ability tag. For example, sleep on bed requires a sleeping service. Note only one bed can reserve and sleep on a single bed every month. If you have multiple characters, you may need multiple single beds or a double bed. Next, you will need to find a job and make some money, since the rent is due at the end of the month. Click on the search list button. We're going to be a cashier. Signing a time value to everything is interesting. We're going to successfully find ourselves a job. We have a 1.04% inflation rate. Vicenza Cavalieri got the job. Hooray! 
Congratulations, you got the job. Work hours and accumulated wages appear in the character panel shown below. Alright, so we're going to click the numbers here. Blah, 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 blah. Hover over the arrow icon next to the priority number to see a person's last decision on this activity. Click in to finish this tutorial segment. An auto action has been added for your new job. To see a list of all current auto actions, click the icon on the character panel. That's it for the very basis of setting up a life. We'll quickly look at two major features, character preferences and industry inflation, and then leave you to it. Firstly, open your home again by clicking the home shortcut. Next, each activity you'll see a little preferences icon. Fun tends to decrease faster when people are doing things they don't enjoy. You can see the exact fun change by hovering over the activity icon and adding all the numbers under the fun heading. Characters you feel allergic, hate, dislike, like, love, or addicted to different aspects of life. You can see if someone's preferences at any time in the character sheet on the character panel. Remember, people will avoid doing unenjoyable things. Imagine someone who is allergic to work and loves eating. You can set preferences as two for both the cashier job and order pizza that will almost always prefer the pizza. Consider lowering order pizza to three so they are more likely to choose work. Someone feels either love or addicted, they will have an additional needs bar for that preference, just like the energy, hunger, hunger and fun needs bar. Click next to continue. Now hover over the burning money icon in the top left here, that is inflation. You might have noticed a little fat icon next to some activities. This tells you how much each industry affects the price of that activity. That's the character preferences and industry inflation systems in a nutshell. Congratulations on making it this far. There are different things to do and different sides to explore. They find activities that suit your character and add them to that person's auto actions list. Your options on the tutorial map are limited, but in a proper city, you can find universities, hospitals, and so on by searching for them. Similar to how it was done for jobs. Let's run through end of month. Reach the end of the month. Okay. Zero needs. Allow your character's needs to reach zero. $200 to dine out. What the crap are you buying? working for 30 something hours making a whole bunch of money I'm going to turn that off and actually sleep on a bed here we're going to put stare at wall as four, sleep as three. Accumulate a few more wages. So we worked 71 hours and got $1,037.16. That's really good, actually. Let's go to the shopping mall. And pause the game real quick. Mm, okay. We don't want to spend too much on dining out. This is the problem because we're spending a lot of money on dining out.
basic groceries. There we go. Go ahead and buy some basic groceries. And a standard fridge to put those groceries inside of. Okay, Vicenza. Do your sleeps. Alright, so we can eat plain bread. We'll go ahead and set that as a high priority. Eat home cooked meal. No home cooked. I didn't cook my home. No home cook. We play PC games, we don't have a computer. Can't relate. Too old to sleep like a baby. I love that. Nice little touch. Eat baby food? Too old? I knew you're never too old to eat baby food. Drink coffee. Go ahead and get a cooking surface of some kind. If you're buying some regular like groceries, hold down the shift key and click on the item in the shopping window to add an auto action. Alternatively, hold down the control key and click on the item to add a shortcut under the character panel. Spend the money on the electric oven right now. Or do we? Ah, uh, we're gonna get paid here, so let's gonna spend a little more than we're actually making. But we're gonna get the gov We have to get the oven at some point. I mean, that's kind of not a question, right? We kind of have to get the oven. We can order pizza, or we can cook food. No cookable. So we need a cookable? Cooking, oh, okay. Well, let's spend the money. Takes you 10 hours to eat bread. That's just sad, actually. You know, that's honestly just sad. We shouldn't spend as much money on eating out anymore because we've bought the food. There we go. Need some fun. I want to go to the park. Let's go play chess outdoors. Why not? Need to get some fun up in here. Go back home, get you some pizza. 
Is it two hundred dollars? Good lord. And I think with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video playing this Grand Life 2. So if you enjoyed and want to go check out the game for yourself, they won't see that for $16.99. And yeah, with that, we're going to wrap up. So I'll see you next time for some more here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching.